can't make us cry yet, Scott. The camera's not on. <laughs> My wife is a great one for sharing all these little idioms with me. When one door closes, another one opens. Uh -huh. Everything happens for a reason. Mm -hmm. She never tells you that sometimes the reason why things happen is because you made stupid, stupid ideas, because you did stupid things, and you caused the things to happen in the first place. When I walked through those doors in 2012, just like I used to say, I was lost and used, twisted and confused. And I didn't know where I was going. So I had one door that had closed and left me in this labyrinth of a hallway that I was trying to find where the next door had opened, I had no idea where it was. And I didn't know who I was, where I was going. I just knew that where I had been wasn't someplace I wanted to continue. And I walked in here with this self-perception that I just really wasn't worth that much. And it's funny when you walk through those doors that all that goes away. Mm -hmm. You can't help when you walk through these doors and you meet people like Denny and Denise Ward, yeah. Annette Denny, yeah. Nell Guinness, oh, yeah. Bob Glickman, mm -hmm. Reed Manchester, <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy Udell, my Vasquez, Kathy Taylor, <coughs> You can't help but when you walk through and meet those people that become your tribe, mm -hmm. you can't help but become a changed person. And Jeremy's right that in the two years that I was president here, somewhere along the way I realized that I came here not because I was getting so much from you, but because I was allowed to give so much to you. And that, in turn, was what I needed from you. The articulators are a really neat group of people. There are clubs that have great speakers. And there are clubs that have great people. We just happen to be the club that has great speakers who just happen to be great people. And you don't give yourselves enough credit for that. But you should. Because not only is there great talent, but there's great depth. And I'm forever changed for the depth that I got to experience here. Thank you. Thank you to I for never allowing me to speak badly about myself. Great packages really do sometimes come in the smallest of frames. <laughs> yield the biggest of sticks, which apparently were borrowed from your son. <laughs> to Epi Bang, thank you for being so inspirational in how you can learn a second language that is so opposed to your first language and deliver it in such a beautiful and powerful way. And to what you evolve as a speaker and as a leader, it's just awe-inspiring. To read who puts on this persona of sarcasm, <laughs> pessimism, that everything is bad, but in reality, all he is is just cynical because he's an optimist that doesn't want to be disappointed yet one more time. <laughs> and when you scratch the surface, you realize that there's this depth of love in him for all people chickens. <laughs> <laughs> when you walk in, when you used to walk in here and Denny and Denise sat in the back, you got this huge hug from Denise and then a secondary hug from Kathy. So mm. Kathy just decided to give both hugs in the first place. <laughs> and when you walk in, you can't help but feel the love because you don't get that anywhere else. You don't get somebody that rushes up to you and makes you feel like you're a long lost relative every <laughs> single week. It's amazing. You have Carol who comes in and bears her soul and shows that we are always working works in progress and never a finished product. And Jeremy. Mm -hmm. You suck. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, at my lowest points, Jeremy would always pull me aside and tell me what a great job I was doing as president, as a speaker. And how many of you have had the little Jeremy talk out front? <laughs> <laughs> Has anybody had that little chat? <laughs>
It's a gift. You're worried about becoming a funny speaker. Be just be more of who you are. Because that's way more than enough. Yeah. I thank you all. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. My grandfather was born in Ireland and he used to always tell us whenever he was leaving somewhere for the last time. All three is retirement parties. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, all three is retirement parties. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine brightly upon your faces. May the rain fall gently on your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you. Inside your pocket. Yeah, he's got it. Okay. Well, our new president will be closing the meeting today. Let's welcome Abby Bang.